Alex, there's an article in the Australian Financial Review which claims that ESG goals are absolutely fundamental to the long-term growth of the economy and it calls on Australia to identify export industries such as green hydrogen and renewable energy and then back them hard. Uh, what's your response to that advice? I think your point of view may be a tad different. I love how they make this like world destroying movement innocuous by putting Scrabble letters. It's like, oh, this is just a, a crappy <laughs> Scrabble word. It's not something that we should be uh, afraid of. I mean, God, ESG, I, so much to say about this. It's like this whole idea that these random bureaucrats from the UN who hate freedom and hate industry have come up with a set of rules that's going to make everyone prosperous. How could anyone possibly believe this in theory, let alone if you look at the practice where ESG means be anti-fossil fuel, be anti-nuclear, be anti-development. It basically says refrain from everything that you have every reason to think is profitable on a free market and embark on all these schemes that governments can barely get themselves to do like green hydrogen. Is there like an amazing market? Have people really figured out how to rig solar panels and wind turbines so they're super cheap hydrogen? We're transporting it. No, this is just a total like government phenomenon that's stealing people's money to pay for these boondoggles. And so it's it's kind of like Shell we mentioned earlier. They're basically Shell in the past. They're saying, oh, well, we have this, like the government's giving out money, so we should do this. But as like Australia, do things that are actually cost effective for billions of people, like producing coal, that seems to be pretty profitable right now. Like don't do things that you think stupid governments are going to fleece their taxpayers to buy from you. That's not a moral strategy and it's not usually a practical strategy.